What is up, everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today, and hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, I wanted to talk today about metabolites, and the reason I want to talk about metabolites as well because I got some good examples to show you about what a healthy tub looks like and what an unhealthy tub looks like, and some exceptions, some metabolite exceptions. What I mean by that is cases where metabolites are normal, like having metabolites are normal. So. You know, people automatically look at metabolites or see metabolites when they're a beginner and they think, oh no, you know, what is this? You know, I've heard about metabolites and, you know, this is a sign of contempt. And most people will tell you, all they will tell you is, oh yeah, that's a, that's a sign that is fighting off contamination. That's not true all the time. That's not true most of the time, in fact, right? Most of the time people have metabolites and think they have a contamination. I find that they actually don't have a contamination because they have completely normal levels of metabolites. So here, for example, this is a healthy tub of core lovers, right? This is McKenai. And as you can see, there are actually no metabolites that I could see, at least with my eye. So this is a healthy spawn, or so I believe. <laughs> but it's been going well. It doesn't have any signs of being unhealthy. So this is most likely healthy. So. Now I'm gonna show you an example of an unhealthy core lover tub. This one is definitely contained, the one that I'm gonna show you right now. Here we are, steel mags. And this thing smells like alcohol. It smells like something's fermenting in here. So uh, here we are, right? Okay, and look at all the metabolites. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go, look at that. Tons and tons of metabolites coming out look at that all over all over i'd also like to add that metabolites do not always take the form of yellow globules as you see in the tub i'm showing you right now yellow mycelium can also be an indicator of metabolite presence although it can also be a sign of straight up bacteria metabolites can also form inside grain jars and brf cakes and the same parameters can be applied as to their health as i go over in this video for bulk grows so uh, basically, this is this is not good. This is way too much metabolites. This is more than normal. Uh, and also, in addition to the smell, the fermenting smell, and the way also, you can see sort of the way the mycelium is. It's very, very sort of thick almost. It almost looks a little like, like if you poured oil on mycelium kind of look. I don't know how to explain it, but... Um, the way that it's growing is not fluid. It's very, you know, sort of uh, blobulous. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but basically this guy is the most certainly contaminated. This is way too much metabolites. Now, if I had like maybe one or two or three pieces of metabolites here and there, maybe two, right? Then I wouldn't be worried at all. It's completely normal to have some metabolites. But if you have a lot like this, this is abnormal. And the, the metabolites, in addition to the smell and other signs of contamination, like the way the mycelium looks, are telltale signs of a definite contamination going on here. Now, on the other hand, there are some species that will produce much more metabolites than others in certain conditions. So here, this is not a core lover. This is actually a grass lover, a Florida grass lover here. And uh, it's been spawned a couple days ago. But already, this, this is a really good truffle producer, right? So already we've got some truffles forming. Uh, let me show you here. That right there, there's a little uh, crack in there and you see that little yellow thing? Right there, a the yellow thing? That is metabolite, that is a glob of metabolite. And over here we've got another truffle coming. And that is also, you see that? That's metabolite, that big droplet there, that's metabolite. Uh, so truffles, basically truffle producers will produce lots and lots of metabolites when they're producing truffles. That's completely normal. I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos, but in the truffle jars that I have shown in the past, you'll see some metabolites pooling on the bottom. That's completely normal, right, with truffles. That's, you know, they're completely healthy. That's just how they go. And the reason why uh, I believe is because metabolites are basically, uh, well, they serve a few functions, right? The primary one that I want to talk about here is the antibiotic qualities. Uh, it's something that the mycelium releases basically to aid itself, right? That's what it does. So one of its main purposes is as an antibiotic, so to fight off contaminants. That's why having lots of metabolites is a surefire sign that there's some kind of contaminants, at least in coral lovers, not grass lovers necessarily, but in coral lovers. Uh, the second reason 
is that it helps the mycelium break down certain substrates so that it could access the nutrients inside. Basically, it helps break down cell walls. So that's why you often find more metabolites in a core substrate. And there is also a third reason that I forgot to mention, and that is basically it's an indicator of full colonization of your substrate. This follows the second point that I mentioned, that is it helps break down food. And that's because the mycelium's first priority is to colonize whatever the substrate is. The second priority is now to extract all the nutrients that it can out of that substrate. So that's why you start to get metabolites right around full colonization. It doesn't always happen, but usually when people post their pictures of metabolites, this is usually the reason why. It's not contam, but it's just fully colonized. So that's essentially why, you know, metabolites can be either a sign that the mycelium is fighting off some kind of contamination, or it is simply trying to break down some food. And oftentimes when it's fully colonized, then it's basically, you know, you might have some metabolites. It's also a sign of full colonization, basically. Uh, and I'm sure there's a genetic component to it as well, most definitely. You know, maybe some of them will produce some metabolites, some of them won't when they're healthy. Uh, but anyways, the main takeaway here is just a few drops here and there, maybe one or two, right? It's completely fine. It's not a cause for worry. Now, if it smells bad, for example, uh, and you got some metabolites, that's a different story. If you got a ton of metabolites on a coral lover, that's no good as well. So, and again, some species like the uh, truffle producers, the sclerotia producers, they produce tons of metabolites, especially on the truffles themselves. They will produce a lot. And, you know, I've thought about this a lot. And um, my my thought on the reason why is basically because sclerotia are produced uh, as sort of an insurance of the mycelium for when terrible conditions hit. You know, for example, drought, flood, landslides, you know, basically catastrophic events so that once the conditions become good again, then these hard little stones that it's produced will start putting out mycelium again and it can start over. And these guys are really, really strong, right? Uh, but it's made for adverse conditions. So the metabolites, I believe it releases it so that it, it helps it survive basically. You know, it's just another layer of protection for the stone to ensure its survival. So anyways, guys, that's basically the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great day or night. Michael File Sage, checking out.